In this video, I'm gonna give you three simple cocktail recipes that you can make with your leftover Advocar when you get bored of making snowballs. Hey cocktail fans, welcome back to the channel. Here at Drink Stuff, we are your one-stop shop for all your cocktail needs, except for the booze. If you like what we're about, then make sure you subscribe to the channel for even more cocktail inspiration. Now, as I explained in the previous video, Advocar is a must-stock ingredient at Christmas time here in the UK. We don't do eggnog, but we do do snowballs. And Advocar is a vital ingredient in going into making a snowball. Now, who am I kidding? Most people are gonna get through a bottle or three or four of this over the festive period because snowballs are so quick, so easy to make and loved by everyone. However, I know a few people are curious about what else you can make with your Advocar. So in this video, I've got you covered. I've got three alternative Advocar recipes for you. Now these recipes are gonna be slightly more in depth than your typical snowball, so you might kind of need a cocktail shaker. You could stir them, but they're gonna be taste better shaken. But I promise you, if you try them, you're gonna love them. Now for your first recipe, this is kind of aimed at more after dinner. This is delicious. I've rocked this out in other videos before. It's kind of like my after dinner chocolate and vanilla kind of snowball martini, if you like, a dessert proper dessert cocktail. The ingredients you're gonna need, a rum of choice, your Warnix Advocar. I've got some chocolate syrup and some vanilla syrup, and then I've gone for some alternative oat-based or almond milk, whatever you fancy. You can, of course, use cream, you can, of course, use milk. The other ingredients I've got here, I'm not gonna use them, but I just wanted to kind of showcase them. You can add a little bit of citrus if you want by something like super sour, it's non-alcoholic, it's still citrus, will keep on the back of the bar for ages. And, or you could use uh, some saline solution. This is just one part salt to four parts water. A couple, like four or five drops will give this a slightly more in depth of flavor if you like, but I'm just going bold, maybe a touch sweeter in your face, but delicious dessert cocktail. The other thing to note, this will go in a coupe glass and my coupe glass is chilling in the freezer as we speak. So 50 ml double bubble of your rum of choice, 50 ml double bubble of your liquid custard, I meant to say boozy custard, but you know what I meant. 50 ml of your milk or cream. I love almond milk in this. I think it works an absolute treat. Then I'm just going for 10 ml of chocolate syrup and 10 ml of vanilla syrup. And then coupe glass out of the freezer. I'm just gonna pimp it up with uh, some of our Santa baby rimming sugar, this is. So we've got our, our brand new rimmer. Just got some lime juice in one side. Then our Santa baby sugar on the other side. Look at that, perfect. And double strain your cocktail into your glass. And then you can leave your glass just like this or what I've also done, hopefully you can see that, I've just crushed down some frozen dried raspberries into a powder and you can sprinkle some on top if you desire. That is so good. Chocolate and vanilla with custard and a bit of rum and a bit of sugar around the rim. Honestly, that is just delicious. Chocolate, chocolate boozy kind of, oh, that's a great after dinner cocktail. Now recipe two, I have no name for this, so feel free to jump in the comments below and give this a name. This is really delicious. There's a couple of ways you could go for this. The ingredients I've got, uh, pure liquor said just here, Gordon's Mediterranean orange gin. Grand Marnier, Cointreau will be a great swap for this. You get some blood orange vodkas, which will be a great twist on this as well. So anything kind of orange liqueur would be fantastic. We've obviously got our, our Warnix Advocar, blood orange puree. Fantastic flavors this time of year and works perfectly in this cocktail. And then just kind of, just to balance this out, I have got this super sour distilled citrus. I don't want to put lemon juice or lime juice in this. I kind of like the whole distilled citrus. I think, Another way you could go for this is if you had some like lemon or lime bitters, they would kind of give that out. You just might need to balance the bitters just slightly with a touch of sugar. Oh, and this is served up in a Nicodora glass and that is freezing in the freezer beside me. So for this recipe, I'm just going for 30 ml of your orange flavored booze, whether it's the gin or Cointreau or something, 10 ml of this super sour distilled citrus, 50 ml of your liquid boozy custard, then I'm just gonna eyeball this, but about 15 to 20 mil of the blood orange puree from ODK. Double strain into a nice frozen Nick and Nora glass. Look at the color of that. 
And just to garnish on this, I've got a, a dried orange from Frona. Oh my, what oh, a blood orange. A blood orange with the Warnix Advocar. That is a delicious combo. The bitterness of that orange, it's got like fruity, if you've never had a blood orange, it's kind of inherent orange flavor that you're used to, but it brings this bitter kind of vibe to it. That, that is really good. Now for your third recipe, again, I have no name for this cocktail, so feel free to dive into the comments below and give it a name, but the flavor combination of this will work a treat. So we have got vanilla vodka, my advocar. I've gone for green apple syrup and cinnamon syrup from ODK. And to balance all off and give it a little quirky twist, I've gone for some coconut water, but this is, this is the pressed coconut water, so it comes out white, it's like coconut milk. It is essentially coconut water, with a tiny bit of pressed coconut in there, and it's delicious. And I also have a tumbler glass freezing in the freezer beside me. Right, first ingredient, 50 ml double bubble of vanilla vodka, 15 ml, one five of this green apple syrup from ODK, and 10 ml of ODK cinnamon syrup, 50 ml, five zero of your Advocar boozy custard, and then 50 ml of this pressed coconut water. single strain into a nice frozen ice filled tumbler. And then to garnish, I've got a Frona dried apple just to sort of put on the side of the glass. I won't lie, that is really off the wall and really quirky, but the apple with the custard, and the cinnamon, that's, oh, the, the vanilla that comes through for the vodka, that's really tasty. I, I wasn't expecting it to taste that good. I thought it'd be fun but that is really, really good. Do you know what I think actually makes that? That sort of coconut vibe, it's not, it's subtle, but it just comes up right at the end with that apple, apple and coconut, with a little bit of spice. Very, very good cocktail, very good. So there we go, three alternative cocktails you can make with your leftover Advoca if you've got anything left over. Like and subscribe to the video, let us know in the comments below which one's your favorites, and I will see you in the next video. Probably another Christmas one.